My name is Al Bangert, and the Water Department has asked me to talk to you about the drought conditions. You're all aware of the drought conditions. You've all go up and down Route 3A where we stand right now, and you see how low the reservoir is. You've all received this handy little postcard in the mail talking about the drought, the background of it, and things that you can do to help conserve water. So today, we're going to start a series to talk about the drought, where our water comes from, and how you and I can help cope with this situation. And why is there a situation? Well, the situation is, this winter, we had very little snowfall. In fact, um, weathermen, meteorologists, talk about there being donut hole over southeast Massachusetts, a, don a dry donut hole. If you notice, the weather goes inland, it goes to the north of us, the south of us, and out to sea. Here we stand in front of the Old Oak and Bucket Water Treatment Plant on Route 3A. The plant is right over here. We're going to take a look at it in one of these series. We're going to go to some of our wells. We're going to talk about conservation and how we can take steps that will uh, help us conserve water. You see this sign right here is talking about the Herring Brook. There's a low flow. Let's call it no flow. There is no flow in the Herring Brook, so even the fish are stressed. To your right is the water treatment plant. You recognize this from Route 3A? Let's move along and we'll talk. So here we are at the treatment plant. Yes, 1968 was when the town of Situate built the old Oaken Bucket water treatment plant. Now there was a pump station here before, a well, and they put the treatment plant in as they needed to use more water. In fact, they built a reservoir in the, in the late 60s, early 70s uh, to supply this treatment plant. Now let me talk about where our water comes from in Situate. We actually have uh, five very high producing wells located on Route 3A, down at 123, over near uh, off the driftway, and these wells supply our needs for water in Situate from uh, late fall through the winter and into the spring, supply all the water we need, and we don't even run the treatment plant except to keep it exercised, if you will. So, why do we need a treatment plant? Well, when mid-April comes and the population begins to grow, then consumption goes up. Consumption goes up and the wells can't keep up, so we run the treatment plant. The treatment plant is supplied by Old Oak and Bucket Pond and the reservoir up on 3A. And typically what happens is the reservoir is refilled by rain and by winter snow melt. And since we didn't have winter snow melt and we've had no rain, the reservoir level has been dropping. And as it has dropped, the town has instituted different levels of water restrictions. The first thing happens in Memorial Day, uh, the town institutes a restriction on the use of in-ground lawn irrigation systems. People who have those can only run them one day a week if they're using town water. Then this year in mid-July, the town implemented voluntary water restrictions to alert people that we need to cut back on the amount of water we're using. And then in mid-August, it became mandatory. So at that point in time, we can no longer do outside watering. We can't use a hose to wash down the car, to wash down the driveway. We shouldn't be using hoses to water plants. We can still water our plants, our gardens, with uh, watering cans and with buckets. And what we'd like people to do is to save some of that water that, gets, that goes down the drain in the house. And we're going to talk about that later in this series, about different ways that you can conserve water and reuse that water and help the town. Now here's the good news. When the restrictions started in July, people were conserving. When the restrictions became mandatory in August, conservation increased. The town took a number of steps to increase production from the wells and took a number of steps to re reduce the amount of water that the town was using. Um, projects such as the water pipe project stopped using a, a water to flush those pipes. Those pipes are being put in now and they're staying dry until we can begin using water to flush the pipes. Um, let me tell you what happened to water consumption. In early August, the, the first week of August, 
we use on average 1.6 million gallons of water a day. The last week in August, before, before Labor Day even, the last week in August, that dropped by 25%. People backed off on the amount of water they're using, and in late August, we only used 1.2 million gallons per day. Now, 1.2 million gallons a day, we can keep up with, with the wells. And that's the goal right now. Let's conserve water, stay in balance so that we can provide all of our needs from the wells and not have to tap that reservoir. The reservoir is used now. We're gonna keep it on, on uh, hand for emergency use, a major fire, that sort of thing. But for now, the plan is we'll conserve water, we'll use our wells to supply our needs, we'll keep the reservoir stable, and we'll wait for rain. So I've mentioned the reservoir several times. I don't want to confuse you with the fact that this is not the reservoir. This is Old Oak and Bucket Pond. The reservoir feeds Old Oak and Bucket Pond through a stream and some pipes. The reservoir, as we know, is on Route 3A. The water comes from the reservoir to Old Oak and Bucket Pond and then from Old Oak and Bucket Pond into the treatment plant. And we'll talk more about our system later on in another series. So we have several more in the series planned. And if you'd like to suggest something that you, you want to hear more about, then send an email to conservewater at situatema.gov. That's conservewater at situatema.gov. So we're going to talk later in this series about additional measures that we can take, smart moves, that will not only save water, but save you money. So we'll see you next time. I'm Al Bangert for the Water Department. Bye.